Prosecutor Sarah Sandy, how are you, ma'am? Um, I've got my friends here on live. They want to say hello real quick. Hi, Sarah Sammy. There you go. Hey, Sarah Sammy. There you go. Uh, prosecutor, I'm uh, at Coles. Um, I'm at the local Coles uh, buying a suit. I've got my red tie, my blue suit. Uh, tomorrow I got court. So I guess uh, they'll arrest you when you say uh, you falsified my brother's police report. They'll arrest you when you talk about the inmates that were the inmates that were murdered inside your jail. They'll arrest you when you talk about Muhammad Ikram Shardell. They'll arrest you when you talk about they'll arrest you when you talk about Del Wayne Fox Jr. They'll arrest you when you talk about the in, uh, 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 Robert Reed. They'll arrest you when you talk about uh, they'll arrest you when you talk about Juan Campos. Uh, they'll arrest you when they'll arrest you when you talk about they'll arrest you when you hold a sign on public property that says Amy Ashworth is in charge of in, uh, a jail that murders that murders inmates. Now, prosecutor Sarah Sammy, your Commonwealth attorney, your boss, looked out. I was I was on public property. I was peacefully exercising my First Amendment. And I held a sign that says Amy Ashworth is in charge of a jail that murders inmates. I, ha I have her on video. You look outside your window, you wave at me with a smile. Five minutes later, your sheriffs arrest me, infringing on my First Amendment. And they charge me with trespassing. How could you trespass me off of public property, ma'am, when I'm exercising my First Amendment? Are you above the law, ma'am? Are you above the law? I guess you are. But tomorrow, we'll find out if you are above the law. I already have a lawyer that says, I'm going to have a field day with Sheriff Glenn Hill and Sheriff Terry that arrested me. And by the time I'm done with them, they're not going to have a badge or a uniform. Ma'am, you're a tyrant for arresting me for talking about my brother. You're a, you're a tyrant for, for arresting me talking about the inmates that on your watch they were murdered. Then you're a jail board member. A jail board member. You get paid $50,000 on top of your roughly $230,000 salary for making sure being a jail board member. You're a commonwealth attorney, but you're also a jail board member. Sheriff Glenn Hill is a jail board member. Now I held a sign that says on your watch, this is happening. And you got me arrested on public property? Then your job is to make sure inmates are safe. Then on your watch, you have six, not one, not two, not three. You have six inmates that were murdered inside your jail. Six. And when I talk about it on public property, you use the sheriff's office to arrest me. This is tyranny and this has to stop. And I'm not walking away. And I, prom I promise you, ma'am, I promise you, those sheriffs that use that badge and uniform to infringe on my first amendment I will no longer be sheriffs. By the time I'm done with Sheriff Glen Hill, by the time I'm done with Sheriff Terry, they're not going to be here in this community. They're not going to have a they're not going to have a badge or a uniform to abuse someone else. Ma'am, I did two contracts overseas. We're not military. We did civilian work in Iraq. We're civilian contractors in Iraq. We did military work. We're not military, but we did military work. 2000. Look me up. Do your homework on me. 2015, 2016, 2017. Running back and forth between Najaf and Baghdad as civilian contractors. We served this we served this country at that capacity. When I got back, I started a company for a clinical marine base, and my job is to hire Marines, train Marines, and my Marines are military police Marines. I found a way to continue to serve by doing that, by taking care of Marines. And when I talk about my brother, you want to silence me? When I talk about my brother falsified police report, when I talk about the dash camera that you're hiding from the community that I stole from you wearing a pinhole camera where the community at large is watching. When I talk about the inmates inside your jail, how they're tortured, how they're murdered, how you said the condition being a Commonwealth attorney, being a Commonwealth attorney, you said the conditions. You look the other way. You're a jail board member not to take care of these inmates. You, you're a jail board member so you can look the other way, so you can set the condition inside this jail that when these correctional officers under the watch of Sheriff Glenn Hill are torturing inmates, you're setting the condition. You look the other way so that way when, when you're ready to give them a plea deal, they're so badly hurt 
that they're begging you for that plea deal and they're telling you get me the hell out of here this is what you're doing them you're not only doing it to my brother you're doing it to a lot of people and six six were murdered on your watch and i promise you ma'am those sheriffs that are backing you up and are infringing on my first amendment to not talk about it are gonna are gonna be without a badge and without a uniform i already have a lawyer and i have a suit a beautiful suit prosecutor sarah sammy commonwealth amy ashworth Sheriff Glenhill, Sheriff Terry, you got upset. You told my brother that you're upset, you're offended because I called you a piece of shit. Sir, you're a piece of shit and it's not personal. You're a piece of shit because you infringed on my first amendment. You use that badge and uniform to infringe on my first amendment. And I promise you, sir, my lawyer is gonna sue you in federal court and I have recordings and I have video where you took me or you invited me into your office, into Sheriff Glenn's office. I was wearing the pinhole camera. I recorded the whole entire conversation, how you, you told me, I, if I'll let you see your brother, I'll let you visit your brother, I'll let you, I'll take your brother off of solitary confinement. If you pack up, go home, take the sign off, and apologize to the jail, and stop talking about the correctional officers. This is extortion, sir. And when I refuse, I told you it's bigger than that, sir. It's not just about me talking to my brother. It's about his broken foot. It's about his falsified police report. You arrested me. That's extortion, sir. And I promise you, sir, I'm going to put a stop to it. Thank <laughs> you.